Hey YouTube, my name is Daniel and this is Right Place For You if you want to know how to get your first job in IT and how to build nice responsive web pages. In today's episode we will build some header, responsive header, because headers are one of the most commonly used elements on the web pages. So typically we as developers when we starting to build web page we starting from implementing header on the top of our web page. We will use for that Next.js 13, new layout systems for Next.js 13. We will use Tailwind CSS and we will use a TypeScript as a whole language for our project so let's get directly to the episode let's start our project by creating new next.js app by using latest typescript template so let's run it we'll name our project responsive header and yes we would like to use aslint so let's wait for install all packages now let's jump to our project and let's um, clean up it a little bit and let's create our first page it will be index page but that's not all something happened here also when you run our project first time next.js created for us default layout and default had a component for our mm, layout which we are using here actually we can live with that for now so for now on we don't have a tailwind configured yet in our project so let's do this let's go to our terminal let's use npm install minus the tailwind css post css and let's wait until all packages will be installed we have them now but as you can see we don't have any tailwind config yet so we have to initialize it by npx tailwind css init minus p this would create file in our folder here in global tailwind config js and this config we will have to extend our configuration a little bit to tile our components so let's say for now we will just style everything which is in app folder and in components folder let's save this file so now when our ASLint is working and our first initial config is there, we need to extend our global styles, global CSS file to use styles from Tailwind CSS. So here we have to add our Tailwind base components and utilities. From now on, we can import our global CSS into our layout in app. So let's go to the layout and let's import our global styles here that we can use them. And now let's check if the styles will be applied so let's use here class name red 500 let's save it we have we have some problem here as we can see cannot find module auto prefixer so yes let's install this module probably we forget it so let's auto auto prefixer it's there and now let's run our dev environment so we have uh, what we need do we have like text red 500 that that means our tyrant css is working correctly so let's start building some things let's jump to our app page tsx here is the place where we would like to build something i will make this uh, whole screen bigger for you and now let's start to write some code here so let's build our scaffolding we will need here some wrapper let's say that this would be our logo and here would be stuff for our many items let's see how this stuff is looks like for now we have some simple structure here we have logo on the left side and we have some links but the problem is this is working pretty good on the bigger screens it will not work really nice in the on the smaller ones if you will see if we make it smaller then this stuff it's not working really really well let's repair this and let's try to think how we can make this work on uh, smaller screens but one more stuff which i will add here i will add here two additional elements on the right side to make it more like mm, to real situation when we will need like login sign up buttons on the right side so let's add these two elements we have wrapper for them and then we will make two links which will be sign up and login so now they should show up on our web page if we refresh our page then and we have this our sign up and login let's live with that i will show this is not working really well on the small screens so we have to work on that and we have to think how to make it work also on the smaller screens so let's say we would like to hide middle menu in on our mobile screens and we want to also hide those two buttons on mobile and we want to show hamburger icon here so let's start from hiding those two buttons on and this menu on uh, smaller screens what we can do here mm, we can do hidden so let's do this would be hidden if we save it now it's not existing at all so our items are hidden for now and now let's also uh, do the same stuff here so we will hide also our right side of um, our menu so now we would need to implement somehow our hamburger menu icon and for this 
we will use headless UI React because they have cool component which is popover component. So let's jump to our terminal. Let's kill this process and let's install what we need here. So npm install uh, headless UI React. So now we have our component, so we can jump back to our code. Let's import our popover from headless UI React. This is component which we'll use for our mobile menu purposes. So let's start by changing our first div in uh, popover and let's save it and let's see what we would have now. We are refreshing and yeah, we are getting error because we are importing component which is client only and only works on client's component uh, side. Popover under the hood um, is using you create context. So this is pure client side API and in new Next.js 13, all components are as default are server side components. So we have to explicitly say our app view would be on client side. And when we do this, everything should be okay now and we can follow along with our correct code for mobile devices. So let's create our button by adding some popover button here, which will, it will be able to open our panel, open and close our part. We, we would need to install some extra package to get this icon here. So let's go to the terminal and again, npm install, and we will need headless uh, hero icons. Let's wait for this package to be installed. Let's run our environment and let's import this hero icon here. So now we have our bars tree icon. Let's refresh our page and let's see how this looks like. We have our icon here. We have our icon mobile devices on the desktop big ones. It's not there. So I will add here. Now we can repair also our menu because it's always hidden. We want to have it on, on tablets and on desktop views. Let's add it uh, as M. It will tell like on small devices it should be shown as we can see here. So it's also let do the same stuff here as um, block. Let's save it. And now we have correct behavior on mobile devices and correct behavior on tablets and desktops. So let's go further and build uh, some panel to show our menu on, on clicking on the button. So let's add our panel here. We will need to pop over panel. There are styles like position absolute inset zero, top zero and transition MD hidden. Let's go and add some wrapper inside to have some paddings all around. Let's add our mm, logo on the top. Let's add our menu on, on button on the right top that we can close and open panel again. And let's add our menu with our links. So this is those are the same links which we used actually here on the top. You can maybe extract those links and use one component inside here. But for now we will stick with this. And then let's add at the bottom sign up and login also like we have it on the on the desktop devices. So now if we save our component, we should see something. But yeah, let's see. We have some error because we need to import this icon here. That should be it. That should be it. Let's try to open, close our menu. Yeah, it looks like this. Of course, we have some problems here with styles, so we will fix them shortly on. But this is this idea. Yeah, so this is how you can easily and fast build uh, mobile headers or by using Next.js and uh, Tailwind CSS. Let's fix now problems with those styles here and with these margins. But before we fix it, let's add some animation here because this looks really awful for now. Let's wrap our panel in component from the same package. But we need, of course, wrap our panel here. So we need closing tag for this transition. Let's save this and let's import our transition transition and let's import fragment from React. Let's uh, refresh our page and let's see how this is behaving. Yeah, it's much better now. It's nice animation. It's coming and closing. Yeah, that's that's it for today. I mean, making this even much better, you can add overlay, distinguish the situation when user open menu. If you want to do this, you just need to pop pop over overlay and add some class names here. So let's add it. Yeah. So now on, if you add it, you have nice overlay. Of course, you can add this that the overlay is not visible on the tablets and desktop screens. So to do this, you can do simple like SM hidden and save this. So overlay would be used only on mobile devices. 
That's it for today. I hope you had a lot of fun with me building this responsive header. I hope this will help you building better projects on your side. If you have any questions regarding Next.js 13, Tailwind CSS or TypeScript regarding this episode, please write them in the comments. And don't forget, of course, about clicking the subscribe button and ringing the bell because in that way you will never miss next episodes on this channel. So thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.